Tuko uwanja wa wa Cologne, moja kati ya timu kubwa kabisa za soka Ujerumani. Na ninaposema kubwa kabisa si maanishi mataji, bali utajiri mkubwa wa utamaduni wao hapa Ujerumani. Na tumebarikiwa kuwa na mchezaji Kingsley Ehizibue. Je, mtu uisi vipi kuichezea FC Cologne? What was the emotion like? Ah, uh, it's I think it's it's crazy, you know. Um If you come, if you come to Cologne. Nafikiri ni kazi kubwa. Ukija Cologne unasikia simulizi kuhusu Cologne inapendeza mji maridadi na klabu ni nzuri. Lakini nilipocheza kwa mara ya kwanza uwanja ukiwa umejaa mashabiki haikuwa rahisi. Mashabiki wanashangilia, wajua wanapenda na wanafurahia soka. Hata sina maneno ya kueleza hakika. And yeah, I don't know. No, I don't even have words for it really. It's it was really crazy time. You know, being a footballer, I mean many African kids want to be Wachezaji wengi wa Afrika hutaka kufunga mabao. Wanataka kuwa washambuliaji, lakini wewe ni mlinzi. Kwa nini wewe ni mlinzi? Why defender? <laughs> I like I like to make tackles. Tackles are for me goals to make really. I like to slide and make tackles. <laughs> yeah. I like to Napenda kuwa kabili wapinzani, kuwa laza, kuwa kabili na kuwa ngangari na bila shaka kwenda mbele pia. Pia nashambulia na kujaribu kufunga mabao, lakini pia napenda kushangilia, wajua. But uh, they're not there yet, but I also like to celebrate, you know. Yes. Yeah. Talking of goals, unapozungumzia magoli, ulifunga bao katika uwanja huu wa Rhein Energy Stadion mbele ya mashabiki wengi. Uliisi vipi ulipofunga bao hilo lako kwa mara ya kwanza hapa? Of course. When um when you first won ilikuwa raha kweli wajua kabla upige shuti kufunga goli unafikiria njia nyingi za kusherehekea bao hilo nitafanya hili na lile lakini nilipofunga hata sijui nilifanya nini kulikuwa na hisia mseto kwangu na mshukuru Mungu kwa hilo ilikuwa nzuri sana the, for this big moment it was, it was really nice did you ever always want to be Yeah, ulitaka kuwa mwanasoka kutoka zamani? Yeah, I always wanted to be a football player. Naam, lakini kwa wazazi wangu shule ilikuwa muhimu. Hivyo shule ilitangulia. Usipofanya vyema shuleni, nitakutimua kwenye soka. So you had to balance both. Kwa hivyo ulilazimika kushughulikia pande zote. I just want to be footballer. Nililazimika kushughulikia pande zote. Japo kwangu sikutaka chochote ila kuwa mwanasoka. Pia nilikuwa mtoto mwerevu na babangu alijua hilo. Lakini ilibidi shule kwanza kisha soka first then football talking about uh, football uh, you are a star of course katika soka wewe ni nyota bila shaka kuna changamoto zake lazima umepitia baadhi ya changamoto njiani na wapo vijana wengi wanaotaka kuwa kama wewe je unashughulikia vipi shinikizo hizo kwa sababu kuna namna ambavyo watu wanataka uwe like for your image and of course there will be always hard times bila shaka kutakuwa na wakati mambo ni magumu kwenye soka. Katika kila fani maishani magumu hutokea, lakini ukijua nyakati ngumu hukufanya uwe unayepaswa kuwa unakumbana nayo na usikate tamaa. Ndiyo swala muhimu. Kila mara watu watakwambia unaweza kufanya kitu tofauti, lakini ukweli ni kuwa ukijamini na ujijue na kile ukiwezacho kufanya bila shaka utafanikiwa. Just do it. You will go through the process. Siku hizi majukwaa kidijitali yamekuwa maarufu na huwezesha uhusiano wa moja kwa moja na mashabiki ambapo unaweza kuona maoni yao moja kwa moja. Je, baadhi ya maoni yao huweza kukuathiri kisaikolojia? Yeah, of course. If, I think if you're not uh, if you're not strong enough it's, it can affect. Ndio. Nafikiri ikiwa hauko imara itakuathiri. Hebu fikiria ukiwa na mchezo mbaya. Kila mtu anakuambia uchezaji wako ulikuwa hovyo, mchezo wako ni duni, lazima ujiimarishe la sivyo hutacheza. Lakini ukicheza vizuri pia watakusifu wewe ni bora, endelea hivyo hivyo. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu kuwa imara na kujiamini hata siku ikiwa mbaya au nzuri. Lakini ikiwa hauko imara na hujijui basi hata maoni madogo yatakuathiri. Unapata maoni elfu moja mazuri. Lakini ukipata ujumbe mmoja mbaya unakuwa makilini mwako. Ni maisha. So yeah that's that's yeah that's life. I mean one of the challenges that we are facing. Changamoto moja tunaokumbana nao kwa sasa katika ulimwengu wa sporti ni ubaguzi wa rangi. Tumeona ukijitokeza mara kwa mara. Katika safari yako ya soka, je, umewahi kukumbana na visa hivyo? Subjected to such abuses. Yeah, of course. Um, social social media from the fans. Naam. 
kwenye mitandao ya kijamii kutoka kwa mashabiki au shuleni nilipokuwa mdogo bila shaka ili ni athiri unakwazika ukisikia lakini mimi huathirika nikiona vinafanywa kwa watu wengine kwa watu weusi au mabara mengine naam huu ni athiri tena sana of course it affects me so it does a lot with me so yeah. you focus on it and just try to na je, huwa unafanya nini ili kujiondoa katika athari hiyo kisaikolojia? Um, I just at, for me what helps is just pray. Bila shaka mimi huomba. Na mwachia Mungu kila kitu nikiwa na shinikizo au nikikwazwa sitilima nani sana lakini ninajaribu kumwachia Mungu ambaye hunipa amani na kuendelea mbele. Ndio hunisaidia lakini si ngumu. That's for me that's for me what helps but it's not it's not difficult you know mm-hmm. it's not difficult that's the end of our na huo ndio mwisho wa mazungumzo yetu na Kingsley Ehizi Bue maarufu kama Easy kutoka FC Cologne hapa uwanja wa Cologne kwa heri